that you guys can hear it okay so golden ratio what is the golden ratio one really really cool thing that drew me to this article on canva was a
started with the Pepsi thing, I'm kind of all over the place. If you draw a little circle around the, uh, oh, here, oh, that's what it is, okay. Let's pretend. Let me get my markers out. Okay. So with the Pepsi thing. I'll get I'll get back to that in just a second. So we have
see uh, the Parthenon in Athens. The ratios are very much very clearly using the golden ratio. And I think it's pretty interesting that that occurred. So, I will get back to the Pepsi logo. And, uh, before we go, though, so, let's see. This thing. This ratio here. just 
tent. Let's pretend that's a diameter of
start with our one by one square, which means each side is a unit. And then we use that to extrapolate all our other units. And if we continue this pattern, let's continue it with blue. So I'm going to draw another box, another square sides of length one unit and then now here I'm going to draw a square underneath this with a side length of two units so there there that's roughly two units and now you'll notice that the ratio of this to this or this to the whole thing is going to be extrapolated into this is three units. So I'm going to draw out three units here. One, two, three. Okay. And let's do that. see what I'm doing in a minute here. And then from that, lastly, we're going to draw a unit of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is obviously, I'm obviously very much draw my little rectangles again to reference. We're going to pretend that this we're going to pretend that that let's see that's A So 
So you draw an arc in each square from one corner to the opposite corner. You'll draw the first curve of the golden spiral or the Fibonacci sequence. Okay, so this is going to be the Fibonacci sequence based on the golden ratio. The Fibonacci sequence is a series in which the pattern of each number is the sum. It's the sum of the previous two numbers. So we start at 0 or 1. Um, if we say 1, then the next number would be the sum of the previous two numbers, which is 0 and 1, which is 1. Now the next sum is going to be the sum. The next number is the sum of the previous two. 1 and 1 is 2. And then that's why that's two units. Next one is 3, because 1 and 2, um, the previous two, is this one and this one. That makes a length of 3. Then this one is the previous two, which is 2 plus 3, which is 5. And 3 plus 5 is 8. In this little spiral that we draw. So by adding the arc in each square, you'll end up with a diagram of the golden spiral. And uh, I started my spiral. My square was, uh, this one was the wrong one. I'm supposed to start in this one. But uh, here we go. We're going to... Okay. So i got to kind of makeshift this one here. So this actually appears. Maybe I'll I'll think to uh, maybe I'll add a picture right here of ferns, flowers, seashells. You can uh, you can just the list goes on. Snail shells, obviously. And we have hurricanes, Milky Way galaxies.
Twitter logo. Oh, the Twitter logo. I would have to expand it out to um, one more side that long. But let's just... Yeah. 
was the architect, this thing would have crumbled long, long ago. And, uh, nice. Okay. But, uh, yeah, that really, I didn't really plan that out super well, I guess. I definitely didn't draw this accurately, but this would be B, and it forms the perfect ratio, 1.681. I think, um, something that's really interesting say 1.681 and uh, this right here would have a length of the square root I think I keep calling it a phi I think it's V I'm sure you guys will know side of V.
that symbol. That's such a cool symbol. And uh, the pyramid, the whole pyramid. Sine would, would be two units. If V is 1.681. general structure. That general structure is a, is a serious one. Very cool. It's just so fascinating that um, something is so well understood yet so misunderstood and uh, so enigmatic. Creates Get some sleep.